بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم This is the second video of engineering tractor related to C programming and I am going to teach you how to make a simple addition calculator. As we have mentioned in the last tutorials that first of all you have to go to file and a new source file. New source file. You can see here it is untitled and you have it given the name for example. I am going to save it as addition. Calculator, addition calculator. For example, now include std io dot h. This std io dot h stands for standard input and output header. It's the main or the basic library from which we gonna take some functions and main word. VOID int stands for the integers main is the basic function which we wanna take from the library standard input and output header and void is an argument which we gonna teach you in the later tutorials. I am gonna introduce here another concept which is called variable. A variable is a particular way to store data in your computer. So we have to use it in a very particular way. We have to tell our program that what sort of variable we gonna use. For example, I'm gonna deal with integers. Therefore, we ha I have to tell it before. <coughs> integers are minus five, minus four, minus three, six, seven, zero. These are integers. Integers are the whole number values either positive or negative. Now I have to name my first integer for the sake of convenience I name it as A. I name my second integer as B. My third integer as C. And my fourth and last integer as E. Remember one thing in naming the integers it must start from an English alphabet it must not be any number or any symbol like that percentage D like that it must not be any symbol now now for the sake of convenience of the user friend uh, parenthesis semicolon inverted commas and, and the inverted commas enter now I'm going to introduce here another function which is called scanf. Scanf is basically a function which allows the computer to get value from the user and plug it into the variable. Now scanf parenthesis inverted commas and in the inverted commas inverted commas and in the inverted commas percentage sign d. Now what this percentage sign d means? Percentage sign acts to tell that what type of data type we gonna be receiving and d here stands for the integers. Now and and my first variable integer which was named as a. Therefore this can uh, gonna get value from the user and plug it into the very first variable which was named as a. Now again print f parenthesis semicolon inverted commas into your second value. This will guide the user that it is the time to place the second value. Now again scan of parenthesis semicolon inverted commas and in the inverted commas again percentage d comma and sign and my second variable which was named as d now the percentage sign x to tell that the value gonna be plugged in my second variable p now again print f sorry print f parenthesis semicolon inverted commas enter your your third value now again scan a parenthesis semicolon inverted commas percentage sign d 
comma and sign and my third variable which was named as C now get character is for the stability of the execution file and I here close the curly braces if you not use get character then you can see a blank of the execution file but you have not enough time to read it I'm gonna execute it hopefully no error yes no error my first value 4 second value 5 and third value 45 the sum is 54 now let me tell you one more thing my first value 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 second value 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can see here it can give up to the 10 digits. I have personally tried 10 digits, but in the Turbo C, which I have used before this, the calculator will give the answer only up to 4 digits. Now, let me repeat it. First of all, include stdio.h. This stdio.h stands for standard input and output header it's the main or the basic library and now and the next is integer main board integer stands for the integers int stands for the integers main is the basic function which we're going to take from the library and void is an argument now the variable my first variable integer is named as a my second integer variable is named as b third is c and the fourth and the last one which is the sum of a b and c is named as e now why I haven't used D because D is an assemble which is gonna use in the scanf and it must be remembered in naming your integer variables no symbol and no it must not start from a, a, a counting or numbers like 1 2 3 then print F into your first value scanf percentage D and sign in my first variable A print F into your second value percentage sign D and second variable named as B percentage sign print f enter third value percentage sign d and third variable c print f your result get character for the stability of the execution file and here i close the curly braces this is all what we have from the engineering factor for today thank you for watching us and please don't forget to subscribe us thank you